Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School with Brian Bush, who is not only a Haas alum, but is also the Director of Business Development at um, Captricity. Welcome, Thank Brian. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Brian, everybody knows that analytics is important, and everybody's trying to uh, incorporate analytics into their business decision-making, but um, you can only do analytics on data that you can um, that you can make sense of. You can only do analytics on data if it's in a... Um, it's a workable form, and yet a lot of companies still have data in, in, in paper form and other kinds of inaccessible formats. So what are, what are companies doing in order to extract useful information from this type of data? It's a great question, and it's a tricky one. Um, we at Capture Say work with a lot of regulated industries, um, and we've found that because the products that they sell or the services that they provide are very complex, that that is one of the reasons that the, a lot of the information, the way that they interact with their customers, still requires a lot of paper. Um, oftentimes when they try to immediately jump to web forms, things like that, they find that they are suddenly designing for or just serving only a fraction of their customer population. So that's why tools like Captricity, uh, we like to think that we work with organizations that serve everybody. And so we allow our customers to work fluidly with their data whether it's coming into them on paper, um, or we can mesh with other tools that maybe offer them different channels. Ultimately, the goal is the same. The customers, our customers, need that data centralized, someplace that they can work with, uh, whether it's their analytics team uh, or improving their customer experience. They need all their information in one place. We help them do that and incre increasingly help them get more value out of the data uh, that's in that central repository. So a lot of these companies are uh, being disrupted, as we know, um, by more agile, nimble startups. Um, and yet, these incumbents have uh, one advantage that the startups don't have, which is this legacy data, this, this history of, uh, of customer data and so forth. Um, so this is a way of, of unlocking that data, right? Absolutely. So uh, a really interesting example, we, with, we work with a lot of uh, life insurers, and there are some new interesting companies, one is All Life um, out of South Africa, and they're flipping the model on their head, and this, they have this concept of continuous underwriting. Uh, and that's really an existential threat for uh, more traditional players in the space. Uh, and so one of the ways that they're addressing that is by going back and looking at a lot of legacy data uh, that they never captured in the past, that's still stuck on paper or is in a digital archive. And uh, they're using Captricity to go through and turn that into actionable data, into uh, data sets uh, that are structured and normalized, dump them into that data lake or that data warehouse so they can go, work, go to work on it and start to drive some insights. And for them, uh, that's really the stuff that matters because if they don't change, uh, what's going to happen the day when, when some of our modern our, our internet companies, the Google, the Facebooks of the world, have so much information about us that they can predict when we're going to need or they can start selling us, say, an insurance policy with the click of a button. Uh, you know, the insurers that we work with need to get out ahead of that, and the way that they can do that and actually beat some of those potential new entrants is by leveraging hundreds of years of history they have providing this service to consumers. You said you were inspired by a quote from uh, Tim O'Reilly. Um, work on stuff that matters. Absolutely. Um, so, Captricity is a great story. It's a technology that came out of Berkeley, um, and specifically the computer science uh, school, and, uh, or program rather. And really the goal was to take the learnings, the technique, uh, techniques, the innovation that's happening here at Berkeley, and our founder, Kwan, wanted to apply that to developing country contexts. As we started and incorporated the company, and actually immediately after I joined, uh, we went and uh, joined a program called Code for America, focused on basically better tech for the government. That's where we met Tim O'Reilly, who for years has been entreating entrepreneurs and technologists to work on stuff that matters. Um, and so I think our story is a great one of reverse innovation, a problem Kwong saw in a developing country context. He came back to Berkeley and built better technology to solve it. Uh, and still today, whether it's uh, working with NGOs internationally or helping insurers face those types of existential threats to their business model, uh, I think we are working on the stuff that matters uh, both to the world and to our individual customers. Brian, thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm.